Hi everyone, as you know from my first video that I did when I moved into this house, this is the only way I can do a wardrobe tour or declutter because all I have is this set of drawers. I have toyed with the idea however because I think I would be able to get permission quite easily to put something on the wall of having another little rail. So that might be something I do in the upcoming weeks as I'm really really trying to curate my wardrobe a little bit more. What I've realised since going to Amsterdam and trying to prepare for things is it is almost impossible in the current situation that I'm in to have a fully curated wardrobe because I've got the problem that, well not really a problem, but I've got the situation where I'm living in the UK, it's now approaching winter, it's getting very cold, but I've got this stuff that I want to keep for when I go travelling in, let's say, about 11 months time. I don't want to waste things by giving them away, but my ultimate aim for this wardrobe is that I create my winter wardrobe now that I use for the next six months until it starts to get a tiny bit warm again in the UK. And then if I only have, say, 20 items that I am in constant use, constant cycle, that I'm constantly wearing, they will be, at least half of them will be worn out by summer. And some things might be slightly interseasonal that I can bring back in in the summer, have still even less items, but it be fully curated for only having one season at a time. For instance, I know it's quite common for people to have, in extreme minimalism, around a 35 item wardrobe or even less, and it'd be for all the seasons, even when they live in a place that has a four season climate. Obviously, it's easier if you have less seasons, but I actually started to think that because I probably will always spend some time in the UK, what I plan to do is to only have a season that I keep roughly at a time. Obviously, there will always be the odd item that is left behind that I keep because I don't want to waste it. For instance, I've just got some Ugg boots and I know they can last up to 10 years and they're quite expensive, so I'm not going to throw them away and that would obviously be very wasteful. However, You've only got two vests or three tops, by the end six months has come. You know, even if you're wearing each item twice a week, within 26 weeks you've obviously worn it 52 times. So most things I think would be coming to the end of the life cycle by then. So that is my plan to create now in this video a summer wardrobe in a win and a winter wardrobe because in the UK we don't really have an autumn and a spring. It's very much six to eight months of winter and four to six months of summer but for the sake of this video I'm just going to say six and six months. So when I first moved into this house I obviously decluttered a lot of stuff, gave a lot of stuff to charity but there was the odd item that was relatively new or relatively expensive that I've been giving it some time to sell. So in this video because I don't want to go out and buy new things while I create a winter and a summer wardrobe I'm going to revisit perhaps the, I think there might be about three or four items that I put in a pile whilst I tried to sell it and it's still not sold after about three months. So I may bring the odd item back in. I've, I've even decluttered some items which I'm going to tell you about because I didn't save them to do this video. And we're going to have this, hopefully by the end of this video, a winter and a summer capsule. I'll, because this one is about the winter capsule, I will show you physically perhaps what I'm saving for the winter capsule, but at a later date, I will show you what summer capsule it is. But obviously if you've watched one of my older videos, you'll know what perhaps other items are left over by the process of elimination. Now I realise that in these videos, I normally just show you the end process. I normally have my bar pole on the wall, rail on the wall, like I had at the last place and show you once I've done it. But I thought it would be quite good for a change to show you the process of why I'm choosing things and the amounts of things that I'm keeping and things that I think will be multifunctional and try to give a few tips of how I think about things. And so yeah, so there we go. So we're gonna start. Also, whilst I've been living here, because I only have three drawers for all my belongings, um, obviously the longer we spend in a space, you begin to realise what works, what doesn't work. 
So I originally had all my kind of accessories and things in the top drawer and then some clothes in the bottom two drawers and my shoes under the bed here. And after a while I realised that, that wasn't really working for me anymore. I found it that even though I don't have many clothes, the clothing was quite tight and cramped and I didn't like it. And that's partly why I'm doing this capsule wardrobe as well, because even though I haven't got many clothes, the summer ones now, they're just in the way. They're really not going to get worn for six months. So I want to put a summer capsule away in a little bag so that it doesn't get in the way of me getting my other clothes and I've got more space to organise things better and things are easier to get to. So I'm going to just bring all the stuff out, stuff out a bit uh, KonMari style onto my bed and choose the items and choose why. You're going to probably hear me saying this a lot in videos now over the next six months, but the lighting is dull again in the UK. So this side of my face is in dark because I can't really do that, do the camera that way because it has to be on its tripod over there. So bear with me. And once I've got this stuff out on the bed, I'm probably going to kneel. So I am a little bit closer to you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Right, I've moved I've moved it down a bit because the, the shadow on that side was really quite bad. So I've got everything that I've owned in terms of clothing out on the bed. A few items are in the wash. Um, when, if that's an instance where it is in the wash, I will explain what items I'm keeping and maybe in a future video you'll get to see it and you've probably seen it anyway since I haven't got like, my, that many items. So to start with, I'm going to tell you what I've decluttered since the last wardrobe video. So when it got to the end of the summer, I realised that I had some black sandals that I'd only worn twice. And I knew even in the second time of wearing them that they were very uncomfortable. The strap kind of sat right under my ankle bone and every time I wore it, it was going to rub. And it's one of those things that I just knew because it did rub me, I was never going to reach for it. So I was quite lucky because it was in very new condition because it had literally only been out of the house twice on about a 10 minute walk. It, they looked brand spanking new. I still had the um, box that they came in. And so I managed to resell them and only actually lose about five pounds on them. So they have gone and I've only got four pairs of shoes now, but not all are gonna make it into the winter capsule because I do not need my green sandals for the winter. And the other thing I decluttered was my pink Vans top because it was in constant rotation. It's been being worn for about six months, starting to bobble and I have got sick of wearing it as well. And therefore that has gone to a charity shop. Also, after being to Amsterdam, I wore my black faux leather trousers for four days straight. And to be honest, I did get sick of wearing them, but also... And I was beginning to notice because I was wearing them every day that when you have the faux leather, kind of vegan leather material, it starts to get cracked and bitty after it's been through the wash so many times. And I didn't really like that look. So I am going to declutter them as well, I think. So they may go in a maybe pile because I'm not too definite about them. But for now, they're going away in a little maybe declutter pile. So I'm not counting them as something that's going to be reintroduced because they will probably go due to the quality of kind of degrading. What have we got that we are going to take out? Let's have a look. So I've got my three dresses. These are all going to go away in the summer. So I'm going to throw them behind you. <laughs> They're all going to go away and the shorts they're going to go away the linen trousers um these now are going to be worn just as pajamas throughout the 
winter i won't wear the like lounging around in the house not not to actually sleep in i prefer not to sleep in anything but they will be kept out but because they're not going to be worn out of the house i'm not actually cap classing them as part of the capsule wardrobe in the capsule wardrobe that i'm creating for the winter i'm just going to count what i call actual clothing items that you wear out of the house so i am including shoes but i'm not including accessories uh, or coats so we'll put that there for now sorry if i shook the camera these blouses um i'm not going to keep these out because they're very lightweight and because of the material you can't really wear anything over the top of them so they're going away for summer as well i don't know why i'm folding them up when i'm gonna to have to refold them all up anyway <laughs> so the two new tops that i bought for my amsterdam trip because they're black and they're quite thick viscose material i am going to keep these for winter this pink this white one uh, it's very thin material i think it will be a little bit too cold for winter and therefore i'm going to put that one away for summer as well denim skirt summer leggings i'm going to obviously keep it out leggings are good because they are kind of multifunctional if my linen trousers are ever in the wash, I can also use these to relax in because they're soft and comfortable, but obviously they can be used to work out in. And the plain pair can be, even be used as an outfit. I mean, I think they just look kind of like green, kind of a grey green trousers. The black linen shirt, that's going to go with the summer. Too thin really for winter. Now, these chinos, even though they might normally be considered a summer item, I think that the cotton is actually quite a... It's not really thin or thick, so I think I want to keep that out even to wear in the winter. That just goes with one of the blouses. Um, in terms of other shirts, the green shirt that I've just worn in Amsterdam, it's still drying. That's quite thick, so I am going to include this in this capsule wardrobe. And I'll do a rundown of the items I've decided to keep at the end. I'm aiming for 20, but it doesn't have to be exact. And the brown cords, obviously they are being kept out for the winter. They are so thick and warm. My two little vests, they are obviously used just as pyjamas in the winter. So because they're not leaving the house, <laughs> I'm putting them in my little PJ pile. And as you all may know, I have three tops now. This white one, this tie-dye-ish green one, and I have a green long sleeve one. So I have three long sleeve tops. When my Vans one wore out, I realised that I might need one more short sleeve top some days. So I've got a new beige one. I'm also trying to create some, having quite a few plain items so that more things will go with more things. And the pink Vans top just did not go with a lot of stuff anymore. All my shorts all go in in the summer pile. But I think that's everything for this part. But some items are in the wash. So let me just find out what they are so I can either show you them anyway before they go in the wash or tell you what they are. One second. So I'm a bit out of breath because I've just run downstairs to my suitcase, which is where next to my cruise capsule I keep three or four items that are waiting to be sold and now as I said at the beginning items that I'm planning on because they won't sell reintroducing just for the winter so that then if they haven't been worn out they can be donated because they're clearly perhaps not going to sell so let me show you what I'm planning on introducing reintroducing so this shacket Although I said I wasn't going to count out, outdoor wear, like my coats and things, I'm just showing you it so you at least see that I am reintroducing that, although I'm not classing that as part of my capsule wardrobe because I don't count my outer coat as that either. And along with that is something that I have been trying to sell for a while. On a previous video, 
I said how this black faux leather jacket really wasn't me, but I haven't ever actually even worn it once. So this may not even make my winter kind of wardrobe, even though I'm not including outerwear. You may perhaps never see it again, but I am going to basically dig it out of my suitcase as I have done and attempt to wear it just once before donating it because it's not going to sell and it was reasonably expensive but for some reason <laughs> nobody wants it so I may attempt just to wear it once to see if I can give it any use at all before donating it again I don't know really whether it is me I don't know if it'll go with some of the things that I have but that is my goal to wear it at least once before I donate but I want to be transparent about my donation process about my selection process for curating this wardrobe that sometimes I will always try to reselect things from any item that is not sold um, before giving things away or before buying new so that is what we're going to do there. In terms of the other jackets that I constantly wear, they're going to go away in the summer capsule that's going to be saved for the summer. My green jacket, my denim jacket, my linen blazer. It is just too cold in England to wear them. So they're away. And the only thing that's warm that is staying out is this fleece. And one thing that I thought I would reintroduce is this one second. This pink shirt, I have actually had it quite a while, but it was very good quality, so it doesn't look fully worn out. I tried to sell it a little bit because it had not had that much wear, even though the duration that I'd had it was quite a while. Uh, again, this is another item that's not selling, but I feel like I need a warmer long sleeve top as well, perhaps to be able to layer over things in the winter. Um, to keep me warm for instance it goes quite nice with my long sleeve tops and just adds another layer for me so that is something I'm going to try and get a little bit more wear out of and then the good thing that I think about all this is I think it is roughly 20 items that I'm going to have we'll have a little bit of a count up at the end I think that at least half of these will be worn out by the end of the winter which will obviously then dramatically enable me to reduce more items that I've got, more items that I'm carrying and not feeling like I've got stuff that's either in my drawer, in the way while I'm searching for other things or stored away anywhere. I want to have the wardrobe at a time that is currently for the season or the six month season that I'm living in. So for me, it might always be that I have a six month wardrobe for when I come home to England that will be colder and a six month traveling wardrobe if I was lucky, I could just have a summer wardrobe all the time. I only come back to the UK when it is summer. I don't think that will potentially happen all the time. There's things like Christmas that you might want to be with families for. My mum's single, so I don't like to leave my mum at Christmas. Um, so yeah, who knows how that will happen. I can only attempt to prepare a little bit. And what else have we got? Oh yeah, we've got one more thing that I found in the suitcase that I can't decide about again, because it's not had much wear. So I've got these white canvas trousers. They're very comfy. In fact, these, to see how kind of thick material looks and very like kind of dense structured material, they're actually incredibly comfortable. They're so comfortable that you could probably even wear them just for like relaxing around in. This is an item that I found quite hard to decide upon. So I may actually keep it for this winter and see whether I do wear it and by the end of the winter if these items are worn out or I've definitely not worn them that is the final telltale for me that they definitely need to leave <laughs> leave my um, ownership so I've brought you down here while we get the shoes out from under the bed but the lighting is shocking so once I've got the shoes out I'm going to go back to where we are because I think it's a tiny little better. So the three pairs of shoes that I'm keeping for the winter are these slightly smarter ruched boots. My Ugg boots, which luckily, even though our Ugg boots are quite casual, because they are green, they go with a lot of items that I own. 
and there are some weird noises outside now so please excuse them and obviously I'm going to keep my trainers out for working out sometimes I even get annoyed that I have to kind of count these as part of my wardrobe because for me they're not actually a diverse item I do not wear them ever to go out in with say jeans or outfits I just I, I personally don't like wearing trainers for that purpose. I think the only way this could perhaps become a multifunctional item is that once I've worn this item out, I might go for a very plain black trainer and then that will enable me to have this kind of extra pair of shoes that goes with other outfits that I can wear sometimes and I feel smart and not dressed down if it is at least all plain and doesn't have too many... Um, yeah, logos and sporty motif things going on. So they're the three shoes anyway that I'm keeping as part of this capsule. I'm now gonna move you back up there where the lighting is a little bit better and hopefully what sounds like road works outside stops. <laughs> so let's have a count up of what items we've got. To recap what we are saving for the winter wardrobe, we've got a pair of black jeans, a pair of blue jeans, some cords, some pink chinos, a green shirt, the white canvas trousers, three tops, one short sleeve beige top, two black flouncy tops, the newest you've seen, one fleece, three pairs of shoes, two leggings. So that comes to 19 items. However, I want to say this so I don't always outdate myself straight away after making a video. I have um, considered buying, I'm probably going to find the appropriate one, but I'm most likely going to introduce a sweater vest because what I realise is I don't really like jumpers, I don't like cardigans, I don't like how they sit, I don't look like how they always look boxy. I like to wear little shirts and things, but obviously the problem when you wear a shirt is your jumper completely covers it up unless you can pull out your little collar a little bit. But I thought a sweater vest might be the perfect solution because you still get to see your sleeves and the bottom of the shirt, especially if it's a nice poplin shaped shirt and you still get to see your collar. So that's something that I'm probably going to introduce into this wardrobe. So that would leave us with a 20 item wardrobe. Then there's the four items that are pyjamas, i.e. two vests and two linen trousers. By all means, if you want to include them, include them. I'm classing wardrobe as stuff I physically leave the house in, although the other items are clothing and perhaps would be considered wardrobe items in the summer even in my definition because in the summer sometimes I do go out in my linen trousers so I'm now thinking about actually putting the things away also in this video and showing how I reorganize the drawers and seeing whether I do perhaps need to get a rail to be able to better organize my space so do I include this video in the this video or in the next video? I don't know, I'm thinking out loud. We'll see how long this portion gets and there might be a part A and a part B to this video depending on how long it is. So let's now start folding and reorganising my drawers. This space in these drawers was driving me nuts. It's a very small space. Everything I own was kind of, even though it was organised, it still felt kind of rammed in there, jammed in there. I'm going to try and fold them and curate the items better. And if it doesn't feel better after perhaps a week of using them like this, I'm going to perhaps put a rail up there on the wall so stuff is more accessible. Personally, I like to keep everything out of eye shot. Um, I know it's like a lot in a lot of minimalist videos, we have these rails. I used to have a rail, but I had my rail when I had the luxury of having a separate room to keep them in, almost like a little dressing room. And I'm not sure whether it will something annoy me if it's out all the time. So let's give it a trial run. So currently I keep my underwear, which isn't much, in the top and a few accessories. That's kind of my accessories and underwear drawer. Although I have moved some of my more personal possessions like the odd um, moisturiser and things that I have down into the bathroom. I thought it's just as easy to put all that on as you get out of the shower. We've got a little shelf in the shower, shower, got a little shelf in the bathroom that we can keep that kind of stuff on so I'm trying to make this space as organized clothing wise as possible right 
where shall we start? First of all, I can see that my shoes are still down here. So I put my shoes where I keep them, which is back under the bed. So I don't put my fleece in here. It gets worn all the time. Usually I literally leave it on the top of my partner's kind of little laundry basket uh, or hanging over the side or even on the back of the other door in the other room because I constantly go to grab this to keep warm. I'm not going to do it too neat for this video because I want to just see what it physically looks like in the drawers. I'll get everything back out perhaps and fold it in a future video because I just want to see that it all fits in there okay. So it's not that neat but it'll do for now. So shirts, leggings, I think I'll keep all kind of trousers together, tops, Cords are very, very hard to fold. They're just so thick that you can't ever really make them that small. So that is currently all the items I have for the winter. They're only in one drawer with the exception of my blue jeans are in the wash. I'm wearing my black jeans and this top and my green shirt is in the wash. But everything else, I've already said, obviously I keep my fleece up there. Everything else is away. Some of the items are shoes, so they don't have to live in there. So that is actually feeling a lot more organized. It's actually feeling kind of redundant, the drawer, because there are so few items in there. So maybe I will consider putting a rail up. If I do, I may do a new little tour again once I've got my wardrobe up just to show what I've got. Maybe I'll even go into an in-depth wardrobe tour saying where my items are from, how long I've had them. So that's something I've never really done and spoke about the materials. But for now, I just wanted to show the organisation of the space. So now I have the bottom drawer empty for more uh, organising of anything else. And I could even keep my shoes in there if I wanted to. And I have the top drawer just for kind of my linen top, my vests and my um, underwear. So it's definitely feeling more organised. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye.